So hi there, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Brett. I'm a student at the University of Toronto, Dental School, in third year. So Brett, can you tell me a little bit about your undergraduate experience? I went to Western. I did medical biophysics and I really enjoyed it. But uh, my goal always was to go to dentistry, so I really tried to push and get the, uh, the prerequisites and things like that. And tried to have a, tried to have a good time at the same time. <laughs> did you think that medical biophysics was a good choice, considering it seems to be more of a difficult undergrad versus just regular sciences? What would you re recommend to other pre-dental students? Um, for me, I ended up getting into dental school, so it, it may have been a more difficult route, but I think that it's important to take a, 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 a difficult, maybe not difficult, but more uh, useful degree, because uh, you always need to have a backup plan, I think. What was your plan when you were studying for the DAT? Did you face any hurdles when you were studying? Uh, the biggest hurdle was time-wise because it's during school, but uh, I think if you study ahead of time enough so you don't have to do it all before because uh, it was in November and February, so uh, those can be difficult times to so make sure you're ahead of time. That was, the, that, was, that was the biggest hurdle I had. And what resources did you use to study? Uh, resources, I didn't take any courses, I just... Uh, talk with people who'd taken it to get advice and uh, use the use the books from I believe you use Kaplan and maybe a Princeton book. So I just compiled a bunch of different written resources that I could. If you had one piece of advice to give a pre dental student, what would you tell them? Um, uh, do, do you mean in terms of how to get in, kind of thing, or anything? Looking back, if you could give yourself one piece of advice, seeing where you are now and where you were, would you have done anything differently? Uh, I don't know if I would have done anything differently. The one thing I did that helped me the most, I think, is talk to people who understood the interview process and uh, how it works, because uh, for better or for worse, it's an interview that you really can study for. So uh, I think that that's, that was what helped me the most in feeling comfortable and trying to get in, um, that gave me an advantage, I think. And what are you most excited for when you graduate? Other than paying off debts, uh, it, it'll, it'll just be nice to be out there working and make my own decisions and being, uh, not being a student for the first time in my life. And along that realm, um, how are you enjoying dental school? Uh, I do enjoy it. I find it fun, it's, it's cool to work with patients. Sometimes it's a little overwhelming, like right now we're trying to do the patient, we're getting started with the patient stuff as well as heavy academics, but in the end it's pretty rewarding and fun, I think, I like it. Awesome, thanks a lot, Brett. Sweet.